Hi guys. We seem to be having another spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. Beautiful sunset there in the end times. The thing about uh, this spot is the, the sunset in the water is frequently as spectacular as the sunset in the sky. So you get two sunsets. You get the above water sunset and the below water sunset, but it is a uh, spectacularly gorgeous, little bit warm, Friday, November 10th, 2023. I, I guess yesterday, I hear it was a record-breaking warm day down in these parts, 91 degrees on November 9th. And not sure we hit 91 today. It was 86 last time I clocked in on November 10th, but near record, if not record breaking. But uh, I will take record breaking heat in Florida in mid November uh, before I will take just regular temperatures. And New York, baby, don't even can't even imagine what the temperature is at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So I have spent my exciting day. Anyone who watched my uh, video this morning, trailer bound. I have been trailer bound all day. My buddy with cancer and I have been uh <laughs> good lord what we have been going through we have ripped up and reinstalled a bedroom floor and the water heater so uh i guess i will find out when i get back uh i am hoping the water heater is doing its job and I will have my first shower is it three or four days since I have had a shower oh lord if anyone if you ever have to if anyone asks you <clears throat> would you rather lose your hot shower or your toilet or your flush toilet. It is an absolute no-brainer which one uh, when the collapse of global industrial civilization gets here which will be more painful. You know even if it's 91 degrees uh, something about a cold shower uh, so I guess I lose my toilet on Monday. I will be back to the bucket on Monday. But as long as I have a hot shower, I will be quite happy sitting on my bucket starting Monday. See how many days that goes on for. But uh, anyway, it has been one hell literal hell of a day today trying to uh, reconnect with a global industrial civilization and the the perk of a hot shower of course it's a hot sulfur water shower uh, <laughs> but hey uh, It is what it is, and I am back on the dock where I started my day with my Save the Planet cup of coffee this morning. Watching another spectacularly gorgeous sunshine over the end times. I got here one week ago tonight. Unbelievable one week ago and what we have accomplished in one 
week. Here comes our brother Egret. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's looking over at Sancho Panza. This is a little dog. On this camera, I don't even think you can see that big ass eager. This is actually a uh, what this is. People think this is a an eager. What this is is a great white heron, uh, which is a close cousin to the great blue heron. That is a. I can't even see this guy. Well, let's go this way. Where are you? There he is. That is a that is a great white heron. That is not an egret. He hangs out here. He's getting a little braver. I think he's getting to know me and Sancho because we're out here every day. So he's getting a little tamer, wondering if I have a fish to offer him. I think he's begging a fish from me. What he's doing. These are my buddies. I hang out with the herons and the egrets and the sandhill cranes. Not sure where the sandhill cranes are right now. I, they were flying in a few minutes ago. What are you looking at, brother heron? He's disappearing into the sunset. Ah, an exciting Friday night begins in the lonely trailer at the end of the road. An exciting Friday night. So for the first time in two years, I get this, uh, I get this note from Pile of Fish. The first time in two years that's a, I don't believe this shit for a minute I have barely even looked at my profile for two years saying that there is a woman who wants to meet me this is the first woman in two years who has read my profile saying she wants to meet me and so I of course I clicked on and they want to uh, What's the cheapest? Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars, you know, to get the uh, to get the the full benefits of the woman who wants to meet me. What do you think? Should I spend sixty dollars? So I have no idea, you know, if she's in Florida, Texas, or New York. Uh, should I pay $60 for a three-month subscription to Pile of Fish so I can uh, find all of these Doomer chicks forever? in Dunnellan, Florida. I'm sure this is a hotbed of Doomer chicks. But, uh... Since I guess we're putting the doom and gloom on the back burner... What do the Doomer astrologer chicks say? New beginnings. It is time for new beginnings. <clears throat> I was watching these people put their boat in so uh, we have this probably $200,000 pontoon, pontoon boat coming in you know I have to admit guys it would be nice to be rich I have never I have never claimed he has got him a Doomer chick in the boat with him. A, I guess not a Doomer chick, a Doomer cow. You know, you're fucking rich. 
you have the beautiful boat, the beautiful truck, I'm sure the beautiful home, and you still have fat women. You know? Why didn't he throw her out of the fucking boat? The dude's not fat. Why does this rich guy have this fucking fat woman with him anyway? I need to be quiet. All right. Well, I'm going to shut this down and talk to some normies about their day on the river. Bye, guys. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? A duck. Oh, you got a dog.